Hello there, fellows, and welcome back to Tigers RC and Cube World with George the Pig and a random collie. I have no idea how that collie got up here. But we are starting in a cherry tree for no apparent reason. And this time, we're going to sort out our weapon situation. Get ourselves a good weapon. You can see right by the weapon shop. Let's talk to uh, this person and see if we can't find. There's a great mace, shield, dagger. I am not seeing a good great sword because last episode I asked you guys what you want me to use as a weapon and from the feedback that I got the most popular by far was having one big gigantic sword so that's what we're gonna do instead of this mace and little sword um, we're gonna actually come over here to the crafting district um, is that it? is that it? nope nope that's it we're going to go to the blacksmith right here and open up this furnace to see if we can make some iron cubes and let's see can we that's a great axe we don't want a great axe we want a great sword mace worn iron great sword hey that actually doesn't look too bad. It's not as good as the two weapons that we have right now, but it's going to look a lot cooler. How much iron does it cost, though? It requires the anvil, which is right here. We can make this great sword. Alrighty. It's going to cost me 16 of these iron cubes, but I think it's worth it. Let's equip this thing. Inventory. That's taller than me. That sword is taller than me. Oh, yes. I can block and stun and bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. And I'm in shining iron armor and everything. Alright, now I'm starting to look more and more like a warrior. This is great. Um, let's actually try out this customization bench. Because... Actually, actually, first things first, I want to see... Let's go to the Adventurer District, because you see, if I open my inventory, I've got a Platinum Coin. The Platinum Coin is what you get for defeating bosses, and um, especially those quests. I got one when I finished the Ruins of Gregar. Gregar, I think we might have headed to that dungeon over there sometime. We might head to that dungeon a little bit later, though. Those mountains look good, look good, though, because if we go to the mountains, we can get more iron and make our weapon look a lot cooler. So we'll probably end up doing something with that. As it is, though, um, let's check this out. We're here. It's inside this tower, and this thing looks like it can be adapted, but to be better but this one nope it won't work that's sad oh well let's go find those mountains and get a little bit more iron if we can find a cave in those mountains which would be amazing it would be great and if we can find a cave in those mountains then we'll um, we'll get more iron and we'll be able to make our sword look really really cool so let's do this alrighty is that a cave? 
I think that's a cave. Right there. That looks like a cave. It goes into the mountain. Perfect. Let's get this heart flower while we're on the way, but... Alright, so we're gonna enter the cave, test out our new weapon, and then after we're through the cave, we'll end up upgrading it a little bit, I think. So... There's a bat, and there's another bat. Iron, and a lot of it. And three bats. Oh yeah! Ha 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 ha. That was fun. I'm able to one-shot everything. Go, George! Alright, I've got quite a bit of iron for that, actually. Exactly what I needed. Perfect. This is actually really, really great. Alright, and is this another cave? Any more iron? There's another bat. Alright, as long as we're here. Ooh, leftovers. That's good. We're gonna go through this little ravine thing, and look at the mountain over there. Ooh, crows. Let's attack the crows. Come here. Come here. Alright, fine. This'll do. Melon ice cream. Melon ice cream. Did you see that? I got melon ice cream. That's really good. Alright. I don't know what the mint chocolate bar is for or the donut. Or the melon ice cream for that matter. Cotton candy will tame me a sheep as a pet, which would be cool. But I like George. George the pig. Our favorite pet. So, I'm not seeing any more caves. There's an onionling right here. I never did like onions. <laughs> Worth it to get rid of them, I suppose. But now, we've got a lot more iron. Which is good. Now we can head back to town and use one of the really cool features of this game to customize our weapon. Except that there's a cave right here. I have to go in the cave. I love caves. Ooh, a chocolate cupcake too. Alright, any more iron? Any more gold? It's not especially useful to me. There's a bat and silver is over there. Glad we went in this cave. Silver nuggets, another bat, anything over there, anything over here, iron. This is a big cave. You don't typically find caves this big. I'm really glad we came in here. Looks like two caves intersected back there. There's a bat, and another bat, and a way out. We're gonna go back in there once we deal with these bats. Alright. We got this. Come on, George. <laughs> the war pig. <laughs> uh, George is just such a great name for a pig. Alright, is this going down or up? There's another bat. This looks like the way out. No. That's not the way out. That's an emerald ore. Those aren't very easy to find. They give off that green glow. This looks like a dead end. Hmm. Although it looks like there's something under there. If I had a bomb, I could get through, but that looks like the way out, so it doesn't matter too much. Moving on, we're going to go the way we haven't been. If we go back here, 
should be just straight across from us at this intersection. That's over here. I love how they did the cave so that it's kind of blue in the distance when you're far away like that, you see? And then when you're leaving... Alright, let's head back to town now. I've been in these caves way too long, and I'll have some interesting crafting to do once we get there. Um, there's a sheep and an inn. I should probably go in the inn and sleep for a bit to recover my health, but not right now. Moving on, um, crafting district, crafting district, crafting district, I think it's, this is the pet district, and I think it's a ways away to the crafting district, unless it's right here. Alright, now we need to find where we were before, where there were the blacksmith, and all of that, I think it, is it over here? it up here? Might be over there. Yes, yes, it's right over here. And the blacksmith should be right around this corner. Perfect. Now, what we can do right here is we'll make a bunch of iron cubes and we will attach them to our sword to make it really nice and big. Alright, as long as we're here, we'll smelt up these gold cubes as well. And the silver. But the iron is the one that we really need to use. So, let's do this. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Um, a fire spirit. Alright, so, in Cube World, what you can do is you can attach these awesome looking cubes to your weapon. So, that is what I am going to do. I am going to make my weapon taller. I'm also going to attach this fire spirit. See, when you defeat a boss mob, it drops one of these cubes that will apply a special effect to your weapon so that now if I attach this to my sword it'll deal fire damage as well as its other damage. Um, so I think that we should actually let's actually real quick figure out which way is the front. So the front of the sword will be the side that I see the most of which will be the side Ugh. how about we actually do that cube right there alright now then when I attack that cube is where? on the bottom? on the bottom front of the sword is this outside so the cube will be on the right all right so the cube is on the right let's attach the fire spirit to the front of the sword to make it like an etching or something i wish you could zoom in on this Alright, so we've got the fire spirit there. Now we can add more iron. And the sheep goes right by. Like an iron there. And there should be, I'm thinking, some iron etching right around this fire spirit, like that. 
and let's go ahead and add a little bit of something on the other side to balance it out and then something there and something there and something there now we have got a legendary sword you can see all right all right awesome awesome if we open our inventory it increased the damage and it increased my regen I think and it increased the critical chance so this sword is actually really good really really good right now so yeah I think that this is an awesome awesome sword alrighty post down in the comments if you really really like this sword just like I do and yeah I think that that's going to have to be the end of the episode, though, because we did spend a lot of time on this sword. It's awesome, though. It really is. So, thank you so much for watching, and so then, so, so this, and so that. I seem to be saying so quite a bit. <sighs> thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed. I sometimes go on tangents and stuff. So, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, when we get to try out this sword a little bit more, so long!